Arena 12, Arena 12, Arena 12. This is the video and the deck to help you guys beat it. Doing stuff I just don't think he's gonna do that. Hog Rider jumped right past that mini Pekka. Let's go. Seven Elixir at the bridge. Not recommended, okay? It's too expensive. I have a mini Pekka that's gonna go ahead and shut this Mega Knight down for a positive gain. I have a Musketeer I can drop back here if I wanted to, and I'm back to another Hog Rider. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Clash Royale video, guys. Got a special one today to help you guys climb out of Spooky Town Arena 12. The best Mega Knight Hog Rider deck inside of the game, in my humble opinion. Okay, we have our E Wizard for the reset stun ability. We have our high range DPS unit in the Musketeer. We have the Furnace, which obviously is super annoying, especially if it matches the King Tower level of your opponent. So the Fire Spirits always make it. If it's at least level nine, you should be good in Spooky Town. We have our Tank Destroyer. We have our two spells, and the Big Boy Mega Knight can go in just about any deck, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into it, see if we can get some dubs here. It's a really easy deck to use, guys. All right, you know how we roll. We're going to go ahead and break it down after a few battles, all right? Help teach you guys. Level 11, so this is going to be a little bit hard, right? Because, well, man, it goes in with that. Because of... I'm actually going to have to fireball this. It's really unfortunate that I had to do that, but I had to do that. Fire spirits aren't going to make it to the tower, all right? It's okay, though. We'll be fine. It says play and bait. We do get one shot off with the E-Wizard, so great for us. So he's got his barrel. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get the... Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this down. And then we have to go with the mini pack, okay? Uh, very, very weird deck already. All right, so he's going to be able to do a lot of work here. But I'm going to have to do this. I got to go in with that. Pretty pretty expensive, though. We should be able to get some work done here by the E-Wizard. No shots from the mini Pekka. Um Because 8 Elixir in the E-Giant, this is such a weird... I'm going to go ahead and fireball that. For sure and he goes in with okay so <laughs> all right so he's gonna get some work done with the knight yeah. and we're gonna go ahead and take out the princess first um she's gonna get two more shots as in two totals what i meant to say all right this is a very weird matchup so we're gonna go ahead and go in actually i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go in now i'm gonna go in now because go mini pekka and we're gonna go ahead and let this all happen so he goes in with the bats uh the bats will go in front which is great for us Okay, so we'll let this happen. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit high with the mini P.E.K.K.A. Pull it back. Uh, because his will take ours out for sure. So we needed the help of the Arena Towers. The problem is, is with our big boy Mega Knight. Hard to get him down. And against a matchup like this, it's very difficult. But guys, we are not out of this. Major problem here is the fact that I can't get Fire Spirits to the tower. So, okay. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and take this down. And the bats will do a lot of work. I have to eat that damage, though. And then I'm going to go ahead and log this back. And then we're going to go ahead and go Hog Rider here very soon. He's going to go in with a, if I had to guess, a mirror. Or no, he's not back to his mirror yet. He's going with the, um, uh, actually, we're going to let that go. Hog Rider should be able to take it. Now I'm going to go and go with this. So, again, I knew eventually I'd be able to come back, guys, no doubt. Now, I just got to be a little careful here with his mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's go in with this. He's doing all kinds of stuff there on the wrong side. And mini P.E.K.K.A. is supposed to be going the other way. That's kind of weird. But that's all right, though. All right, so let's go ahead and go in with this right here. We're going to protect that Musketeer, and he's going to go with that. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and go real heavy. Like, I'm going to let you build that push-up. Come on now. All right, let's just go ahead and take this out, guys. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and... Actually, I'm going to let this all go. Look at that mini Pekka. I'm at the uh, Hog Rider. Hey, learn to get good. I told you guys. Not worried about it. Not even looking at the screen anymore. Peace out. Crazy first battle, huh, guys? Okay, so a uh, level 10. Okay, so that's good for our, our furnace. Okay, remember you want it to match. You want it to match. Guys, that was a crazy, crazy battle. Okay, so we're going to go in with this. Okay, I do have to go in here with this. That kind of stinks. Hopefully the E-Wizard will be able to slow down. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's let's go ahead and put the uh, furnace down. I was debating whether or not to run Hog Rider, but I think we're going to be... Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I might go... I want to protect the furnace. I don't want to go mini Pekka yet. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Hog Rider, actually. Let's do that. We still have the Furnace on the map. He's got a Magic Archer. I am going to Fireball that. Um, not the best Tornado. Not the best Tornado. And we still get Splash, and we still have a Furnace. You guys can see. All right, this is a little bit better of a... Look, look what it caused him to do, right? One of his win conditions, at least, in the minor. So, let's go in with this. Should be able to shut that down. And he's going to have to answer this and use more elixir. All right, good. I'm sure we're up on elixir. Let's go ahead and get a musketeer down right here. Should be able to clean most of that night up. In fact, I know I'm up elixir. 
but once I drop this furnace, I'm just trying to keep that pressure going. Uh, but once I drop this furnace, we're probably even, or he might have a little bit on me. Okay, so he's got Bomb Tower. Musketeer is going to clean most, if not all, of that up. Let's go. And she's going to get a shot. Make that two. All right, and we still have a furnace on the map, guys. All right? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start pressure opposite lane. Doesn't have his Bomb Tower in cycle. I could have gotten that value with the Magic Archer, but I think I'm going to put a Mini P.E.K.K.A. on it. Hey, got the tornado right. All right. Let's go and get Mini P.E.K.K.A. down. He should try to get a Knight Protect. Okay, he doesn't. So we're going to log this back. I don't know. I don't understand that, uh, but okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this down. Boom. Let's go ahead and get a Musketeer down. And he's got his Bomb Tower again back in cycle. So I am going to go ahead and force it out. Let's go ahead and get a fireball down. Okay, that was well played there, but the Musketeer, but oh. He threw the Magic Archer right into the fireball. He's not going to be able to get the wall breakers through. And I haven't even used Mega Knight yet. Okay, that could be a little bit of anger. If I had to guess. Oh no, I think that was a misplay. All right, so let's go here. I'm not I'm gonna ignore the miner at this point, doesn't even matter. We'll go ahead and log this back. Oh, I missed the, uh, I got one of them. I got one. All right, I was I intended that the whole time. But look at this nasty push here. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Not the best tornado, look at that. Nasty, guys. There you go, I'm telling you. This deck works, it's easy to use. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into a third one, all right? And like I said, then we'll go ahead and break them down. Okay, oh, that really stinks. That stinks so bad. I don't like this. He was anticipating a gang or so. Okay, this is even worse, man. So we'll go ahead and take this out. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so he used basically all of his elixir. And he goes in with that. So let's go ahead and get this down. Okay, and then I'm going to go in opposite lane here. All right, because he's, he's running some kind of a... Weird variation of bait, if I had to guess. He's got cannon. That's actually not bad. All right. He's going to be able to clean that up. But now, what we're going to do is allow the bats to go down. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get a furnace down. He's just a little too aggressive. All right. So let this happen here. Boom. He's just used so much elixir. All right. So he's got his mini pack because he wizard. And we're going to do the same thing here. Boom. All right. And I want the furnace to stay alive. He's going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. if I had to go as Mega Knight. All right, so he goes Mega Knight, and then we're, we're going to have to get this down as well. So unfortunately, though, he gets a jump, which I tried to time to where he didn't, but we got a positive trade right there, right? He knows I have Mega Knight. We still have this going down. Let's go ahead and get another log down as well. And we got two Fire Spirits going here. Okay, one's not going to make it. Fine. But he used his cannon, which is great, because that was one of the main ways he was able to uh, block our hard rider. That and the bats. If I, I do kind of wish I had Zap right now. So let's let this happen here. Decides, okay, all right, okay. I'll just keep on doing this, I guess. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna shut down my Mega Knight because of the. Actually, guys, no, he's not because I'm gonna get the e Wizard down. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and get it down now. Hurry up, drop. Man, it took forever. All right, and the Musketeers doing work. So this is the other part I was telling you guys about: know your opponent and how they're playing. Let's get a furnace down. Let's clean all that stuff up. And we're going to go ahead and do this once again. you got to switch up your placement at least. That might be a good idea. So we're going to go in with this. And then he's going... Uh, we're going to go ahead... No, he might not have enough elixir. Yeah, he dropped Mega Knight. He didn't have enough elixir. Boom. Now we got to do is we got to get a Musketeer down to help take all that out. And if he goes in with his... Okay, that's fine too. Not worried about it. I'm just waiting for his Inferno Dragon. i got to fireball this though. Okay, so we're good there. Yeah, that's not going to work for you either. So let's go here. He's got his big boy Mega Knight back in cycle. Let's just go. Okay. Doing stuff I just don't think he's going to do. That Hog Rider jumped right past that mini pack. Up. Let's go. Come on now. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and log this. He did not switch up. He got a little upset there with the cannon in the top right there. He didn't switch up his barrel placement at all, guys. Let's go. GG's. I'm telling you. The best Mega Knight deck to help you guys get us good time. Here is the deck one more time, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to go and break it down. Crazy first battle. My man was running an E-Giant Goblin Barrel 
mirror deck. Crazy deck, all right? He dropped it at the bridge, though, right here. It's eight elixir. That's a big no-no. I have a furnace on the map, and I have a mini P.E.K.K.A. that's going to be able to help shut that down. Based on how my opponent was playing, I already knew, even if he took a tower going into double, I'd be able to keep that pressure up, and I knew I would win this battle. Yes, he did take this tower out. Yes, he does have troops still on the map. Yes, it did force me to drop a musketeer down. There's a lot of time in battle. I was going to be able to overwhelm, take it to 1-1, one, one, and be able to take that second tower because he wasn't going to be able to use the E-Giant the way that he wanted. And you can see later in that battle, he dropped it off to the left. Once he did that, I knew for a fact I was going to be able to take that right side tower. Now, the bats actually were the biggest problem here because the arena tower were focusing on the big boy E-Giant, but I needed to take him down, drop the big boy Mega Knight. He obviously is targeting the furnace as well. And then we were going to go ahead and take care of the bats. Now, at this point, though, he has a lot more elixir than I do. So I had to kind of reset his misplay here. I still think I would have taken the tower was he should have put mini P.E.K.K.A. on the hog rider. Instead, he kind of bunched him up here to try to take out this Mega Knight. I then dropped, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was the third troop. I dropped the Musketeer to help take out these troops. But look at this hog rider. He's going to go ahead and take this out. And now, obviously, he still is up on tower damage. But I knew for a fact at this point, I wasn't going to allow him to use the mirror. That or the Egite. I knew for a fact he wasn't going to be able to do it. And I was going to continue to overwhelm, get another furnace down. I was going to be able to take out his Egite with my mini P.E.K.K.A. And I was going to be able to keep pressure with that hog rider. There's no doubt in my mind, again, I was going to win this battle. And this is the reason right here, guys. Look. I was telling you guys this earlier. He dropped it over there on the left side. It didn't make any sense to me. Full health on the E-Wizard and the Mega Knight. I have Hog Rider ready to go. And look at his cycle. He has a mirror, he has a goblin barrel, and a knight. He needs to get to that mini P.E.K.K.A., but the mini P.E.K.K.A. is not going to be able to take out three troops. And I have a furnace that is super annoying with the fire spirit that if he doesn't obviously attend to it, it's going to get that splash on the tower, etc., guys. And he drops this, look, he drops an E-Giant over there on the left-hand side. I just, I knew it. There was just no, there wasn't a whole lot of synergy to his deck either, but guys, there was just no way. I was going to break through, he wasn't. I got to say, shout out to my man. This is the next battle, the next opponent for using a cycle deck like this. It's it's not easy. I don't care what anyone says. Cycle decks are definitely higher skill. You know, and he was using the wall breakers or underleveled. He did the right play at the beginning. And honestly, though, he's not going to be able to do a whole lot there. You want to split the wall breakers, obviously, um, if you do match the king towers. That way you have to use elixir. Otherwise, they will connect if they match. Like I said, but his are 10. I'm level 11. So it really didn't work out to him. He had to try to, you know, tank with the miner and things like that. And he almost got it a couple times. And we'll see in a future screenshot where he started to push, I think, on this side, which was probably a no-no. I could see why he was doing it to kind of create that pressure. But I'll say that there were subtle signs that this person was learning, okay? And I, I tell you guys all the time, learn those meta decks and pick one that you like, deck archetype, and then you guys can learn and watch a lot of videos on them. Leave questions for me as well. I'll be more than happy. I'm pretty experienced with them all. I tell you guys this all the time, all right? You see the Magic Archer? Regardless, I would have taken that anyways. But guys, you always, I shouldn't say always, but 99% of the time, you take that value. Even if the Magic Archer is right here, you take him out, okay? It is worth the value. Sometimes you can argue the Flying Machine is the same. In this case here, it was good that I got some tower damage as well, but you take him out. He is a, some will argue a primary win condition, but he is a secondary win condition for sure. And you take him out at all costs and exactly what I did. He went ahead and pushed opposite lane. I was going to go ahead and take those out. I probably could even let him connect. It really wouldn't have mattered too much. I mean, we got this down to 509. You know, and these spear goblins actually should have been on the inside, to be honest with you. He could have probably been trying actually to do a counter push with the miner, which is also a great thing to do. I don't remember if that's exactly what he did. But in this case, I would have brought him in because he would have saved at least a spear goblin or two. This mini P.E.K.K.A. would have went down with the help of the arena tower, and he could have at least counter pushed with the miner. And then he drops the pressure on the opposite side. It's just there wasn't a whole lot he could do. It would have been a lot harder if his wall breakers were level 11. So again, shout out to my man. So I was trying to anticipate the bomb tower, which I did not hit, okay? But as soon as the fireball was in air, he dropped his magic archer and we took him out. That was super clutch, guys, all right? And I wasn't even intending to do that. In my head, I was like, I know he's gonna have a magic archer, but that was so clutch. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot believe he dropped it. I don't know if he saw it or he just wasn't paying attention, but the fireball was already in air and then he dropped it. It could have been the same time, but guys, I didn't even care about the bomb tower at that point. Just take out that magic archer. Here is another example of how not to play. He drops the mini P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge at the start of the battle and a log, okay? Because he's anticipating maybe a swarm kind of distraction. I get that. But he used arguably his one of his primary defenses for any tanks. What if I was running like a Mega Knight goal? I am running Mega Knight, but like a golem deck or something, other kind of a tank, a giant or something like that. That's one of your primary defenses for that. And you just used it with the hopes that you're going to get that to the tower. 
Do not play that way, guys, all right? Especially when the battle first starts. The mini P.E.K.K.A., 99% of the time, is not going to make it to the tower. The purpose of this screenshot, guys, is very, very simple. We obviously need to take out this Inferno Dragon, but now I know how he is going to counter my Mega Knight. And what do we have for the Inferno Dragon? Obviously, the Musketeer, I just need to go ahead and take it out, but we have E-Wizard. So I know the next push, which happened in the battle, is if I push that side or whatever, I knew he was going to use the Inferno Dragon to counter the Mega Knight, and all I had to do is have enough Elixir for an E-Wizard to go ahead and shut that down, and then maybe even counter push on the opposite side with the Hog Rider or stuff like that, guys. I'm telling you, learn your opponent's decks and how you're going to counter them. Another example, guys, of how to learn your opponent, okay? Obviously, the Inferno Dragon on the previous screenshot there, but he has a cannon. Shout out to my man, again, one of the worst buildings inside of the game at the moment, and Bats to go ahead and take out my Hog Rider. Now, in my head, I am preparing for three cards, the Inferno Dragon, the Cannon, and the Bats. I'm going to do my best to outcycle them, especially if he does use them out of cycle. That's when I can impose my will and try to push. Remember, with Hog Rider, it isn't about 55 hits, okay? Obviously, it's great if you do, but it's about chip, okay? Overtime and chip, and then once you are able to make it to double, you start to really go hard with the Mega Knight and the Hog Rider behind, especially if you outcycle their defenses. Seven Elixir at the bridge. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he took out my E-Wizard. Not recommended, okay? It's too expensive. I have a mini P.E.K.K.A. that's going to go ahead and shut this Mega Knight down for a positive gain. I have a Furnace that's still on the map. A little Fire Spirit's going to help out a little bit. I have my two spells. I have a Musketeer I can drop back here if I wanted to. And I'm back to another Hog Rider, okay? Guys, don't drop the Mega Knight at a time like that. He could have dropped maybe, I don't even know if he had Goblin Barrel or not, but I would have dropped Goblin Barrel instead on that E-Wizard, or maybe even just take the damage. Remember I tell you guys all the time, know when to take damage, that would have been one of those opportunities. And to round it all out, guys, look, we have a Musketeer here that's gonna go ahead and take a lot of that tower down, but what did I say? I knew one of his defenses, really, the primary defense against my Mega Knight was gonna be that Inferno Dragon, and what did I say I was gonna do on this side? Drop that E-Wizard. And exactly what we did. We went ahead and took the dub eventually, guys. Leave those comments down below. Always love to help. Until the next video, take care and peace out.